Hey guys, it's Adrian RBHA here bringing you a new video. Well, the great folks over at Kigo uh, sent me one of their brand new smart shades to show you guys. Now you know how much I like the zebra style shades because uh, we've done some of those videos in the past. So I'm looking at another zebra shade today. Uh, this is a Zigbee Motor shade uh, from Kigo. Um, this thing looks pretty awesome. Again, it's going to be similar to some of the other ones we looked at but we're gonna see how well it will integrate into our uh, home assistant setup, utilizing Zigbee uh, to MQTT, which is what we use uh, for getting all of my Zigbee devices into home assistant. Uh, now they do offer their own Zigbee gateway as well, which looks like it's gonna run along the Tuya operating system. We'll dive into that as well. Nonetheless, we're gonna dive right in and see what all we can do with it. Here we go. So here we are, uh, let's see if we can figure out a good way to get this box opened up here. So it's always fun trying to record this footage uh, when the package is so long, uh, but we'll work with it. They did a good job of keeping everything protected here, uh, so we're going to have to kind of cut off some of this tape to try to get this thing opened up here. But basically we should be able to uh, cut the tape, we'll pull everything off, and then we're going to uh, slide everything out from one end here. Uh, so first things first, we got the uh, instruction manual that kind of gives us the basics for getting this set up and how to uh, install the shade. And then of course if we start cutting the uh, tape that's uh, holding the bubble wrap on there, um, we're going to go down the line here. Uh, the first thing we come up to is the uh, solar panel. Uh, so this is similar to other setups that we have seen. Basically, the uh, solar panel will stick to the window uh, using some 3M tape, uh, and then it will use a USB-C connector to plug into the motor of the shades. And that 3M tape does a pretty good job, even with the heat, maybe from the sun. And so I'm down in the south of the United States, and so uh, it gets pretty hot down here, but I uh, have not had any issues with that 3M tape and uh, various solar panels that I have stuck to windows. They all seem to work pretty well. Uh, next up, we got a couple of USB-C cables uh, for charging. Remember, you can always plug the shades into a standard USB-C cable uh, and use a USB power brick to power them, and that will charge up that battery uh, if you needed to. Looks like they gave me a couple of these, and they're pretty long, so that's, uh, that's pretty nice. You can't ever have too many of these types of cables. What else do we have here? So it looks like we have the uh, remote control. Uh, according to Kigo, this remote is already paired to the shade, so I won't even have to do anything there other than uh, just mount it wherever I want, and it should start working uh, to control those shades without any issue. I usually mount these on the inside of my window seal, uh, just outside of the shades. It makes it uh, really nice for uh, guests that come over that maybe want to control the shade. They'll be able to just uh, use that remote there without any issue. Lastly, we're going to slide the shade out of the bubble wrap here uh, from one end. And kind of see what that looks like. It has a durable plastic valance right there at the top uh, that's going to be on that front side kind of hiding uh, the actual roller shade itself. But it will install inside my windowsill without any issue so it should look really nice. One last thing we had left in the packaging stuck kind of at the bottom there is the mounting screws and mounting brackets. Uh, so we have four mounting brackets that it comes with uh, for mounting the shade along with the uh, screws and anchors if you need them as well. That pretty much covers everything that we need to get this thing set up. Uh, unfortunately, at the time of recording this video, uh, one thing that uh, Kigo did not send me was the Smart Gateway, which would allow me to add the shades to the Kigo Home app. Uh, so we may have to do a follow-up video on that, but that's okay because we will still be able to get these added into Home Assistant uh, using the Zigbee controller that I have built into Home Assistant so that shouldn't be an issue. So we'll work with that and then if I get that smart gateway in then maybe we can do a follow-up video just to show you how that will work with the Kigo Home app. 
So let's go ahead and move on to the next step and we'll get the shade installed. So I'll be installing these shades in kind of uh, my guest room. Uh, so this used to be in my daughter's room, hence the uh, pink walls you can see there. She's moved into big sister's room now that uh, my uh, oldest daughter's moved out, leaving this room available. So we haven't gotten around to painting it yet, but my wife is using it as kind of her office. So I thought it'd be a nice upgrade uh, with the zebra shades. Uh, so you can see here we have the faux blinds uh, that we're gonna be replacing. That uh, should be a pretty simple install. Uh, first things first, we need to remove the old blinds and mounting hardware. As you can see in this clip here, this has been done. And then of course the next step is to install the new mounting hardware for the Kigo shades. And so we have four brackets uh, that I've kind of evenly spaced out here. And once we have those up and installed, then all that's left is the uh, final product. Uh, so you can see we have the shade installed and it looks very nice. If you look on the right side there, uh, on the window is the solar panel uh, that will be used for charging the shades and keeping that battery power up. And then I have the remote installed there on the left side so we can hit that down button and you can see it kicks right off. And the uh, shades are working great already. So let's go ahead and move on to the next step and I'll walk through getting the shades set up in Home Assistant using Zigbee to MQTT. So to get Zigbee devices uh, added into Home Assistant, I use an add-on called Zigbee to MQTT. And it's pretty much exactly like the name says. It takes Zigbee devices and adds them in Home Assistant using MQTT. So I have the Zigbee to MQTT add-on. Uh, it's pointed at my MQTT server uh, that I use with Home Assistant and it sends everything into Home Assistant that way. The cool thing about the Zigbee to MQTT add-on is that it has its own web interface for adding devices. So if I click on the web interface here for uh, the add-on, you can see I have four devices in here. The bottom one is the newly added Kigo Shades. So I'm not really sure why it shows the uh, different name from the manufacturer there, Hildao or something like that. Uh, I'm guessing it's something to do with who actually manufactured the actual motor for these shades. Uh, but nonetheless, these are Kigo branded shades. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't show Kigo in the name there, but these are definitely Kigo shades. Uh, so just wanted to make sure that there was no confusion there. So basically in order to add a device, you would hit the enable button there at the top. It puts the server in listening mode. And then all you need to do is put your Zigbee device, for example, our Kigo Zebra shades, in pairing mode and the server should auto discover the shades and that's what happened. So if we click on the shade here, we can go in here and give it a new name that's better to understand. We'll call it guest bedroom window. You want to make sure you hit that update home assistant entity ID that's underneath there as well so that it will automatically change the name in home assistant to match. And you can see you can go through here and tweak all kinds of different settings related to uh, the Zigbee controls of the shades if you needed to. Um, I leave most of all of the configuration as the default. Sometimes I might need to change the option under settings specific here if the shades are not controlled in the right direction. Basically, if I'm hitting open and the shades are closing and vice versa, then I can go ahead and hit this invert option here and it will update the shades to go the opposite direction. Other than that, I'll leave everything the default. So if we go over to our MQTT devices in Home Assistant, uh, you can see all of my devices listed there and right there in the middle is guest bedroom window. The name's already been updated just like we did uh, earlier. If we click on it, you can see all the controls here. We're able to even set limits uh, for the up and down if we wanted to. 
We also have the ability to change the direction of the blinds right here in Home Assistant as well. For me, basically the only things I really care about are the open, close, and stop buttons there at the top. But that's it. We now have the Kigo Zebra Smart Shades uh, added into Home Assistant using ZigBee to MQTT. And we can control everything right here from Home Assistant. Let's move on to the last step. I'll show you some footage of the shades in action and I'll give you my final thoughts. So I wanted to show you some footage of the shades being controlled from Home Assistant. Uh, and you can kind of see here, it's got a pretty good response between Home Assistant and the shades. I think that if you have the capability uh, to control Zigbee devices in your smart home and you are looking for smart shades at a great price, then this is definitely uh, a set of shades that you want to take a look at. And you can see I'm kind of playing around with the various controls here as well and kind of showing you how uh, they are working from Home Assistant and everything is working great. Now remember, I should still be getting a Zigbee Hub Gateway from them as well that will allow me to add the shades to the Kigo Home app. And once that comes in, I'll get a quick follow-up video out. Uh, maybe we'll do it as a YouTube short, I don't know, just to show you how the shades work and what functionality you will get from the Kigo Home app. Uh, nonetheless, I really like how easy the shades were to install. The whole ordering process went very smooth. Uh, you just put in the measurements for your window, you select the style you want or whatever accessories you might need to go along with it and you are done. And I'll have links uh, to Kigo's website in the description below. Head over there and check out everything they have to offer. As always, I want to thank everybody for donating to my Buy Me A Coffee link. Every little bit helps. If you haven't had a chance, head over to my spring merchandise page and check out all of the Burns Home Automation merchandise. And if you're looking for the latest smart home gear, you're going to want to check out Smonet. I'll have a link in the description below. Head over there and see what deals they currently have running. And if you're in need of secure internet, you're going to want to check out Provado VPN. I'll have a link in the description below for them as well. Head over there and see what specials they're running on their VPN service. If you're in need of SIM cards for all of your smart home gear, you're going to want to check out EIT Club. I'll have a link in the description below. Check them out. See what specials they're currently running on their SIM cards. If you're interested in buying and selling stock or maybe cryptocurrency, you're going to want to check out Robinhood. I'll have a link in the description below. If you sign up with that link, you and I both will get a free share of stock. It's a win-win for both of us. And we can't forget about Eufy. You're going to want to check out Eufy Security. I'll have a link in the description below for them as well. Head over there and see what specials they currently have for me. As always, if you like the video, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comments below. If there are any videos out there that you would like to see that I don't already have out there, let me know in the comments as well, and I'll see if I can't get something put together for you guys. Otherwise, I'll see you guys around.